Okay, so the Honda Elevate has been inspired in the Japanese market and this upcoming compact SUV will feature an upright bonnet from the leaks that we've seen. I'm just going to launch it here so we'll look at it and talk about it and confirm our anticipations guys. If you take a good look at it, the A-pillar will have a fair rake angle liberating a lot of space on the inside guys now if you get to the rear the rear profile will be a lot more flattish as seen in spy photos from the japanese market so take a look and you see how it looks yes the maruti suzuki brezza has similar traits too and that gives it a boot capacity of about 400 liters plus now a strong front profile as further accentuated by the conventional headlight placement with slightly angular led DRL signature lights you also see a large and prominent grille that is under the camouflages and an aggressive front bumper guys now you can see a common theme of being boxy and the wheel axe should be able to house alloy wheels that can go up to about 17 inches in size we also see some kind of roof rails which may not be functional but if it was it would be great for us to see that which gives a vehicle a very taller stance so the rear has a connecting effect led tail light which is current trend in the industry you also see a shark fin antenna and it's a subtle roof grab attention to here now this coming from honda looks like it's going to be fairly premium our concern has to do greatly with the mechanicals and rumor has it that this is going to fall between 4.2 and 4.3 meters that should translate to about 165.3 inches to 169.3 inches now if that is the case the elevate will be longer than the indonesian spec wrv and slightly shorter than the euro spec honda hrv guys so if you take a look at the um the mules the images that you've seen here that is what we are anticipating but let's delve down into the mechanicals the anticipated mechanicals of this vehicle and we expect this honda elevates to be fairly no nonsense in its looks and aesthetic approach a modified version of the maze platform will underpin this one if this suv and powertrain choices are, are probably similar to that of the fifth generation honda city guys if you are thinking of how the Amazis platform can take a bigger 1.5 litre engine from the city, don't worry. The Brio can easily accept Honda's 1.5 litre bottle in stock engine mounts, guys. So that can happen. But speaking of engines, let's break it down. Choices are likely to be limited to the city's 1.5 litre four cylinder naturally aspirated engine and the city's EHEV strong hybrid powertrain based on this same engine, guys. We do know that the naturally aspirated engine actually develops 119 brake horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque. And this engine setup is mated to either a six speed manual transmission or a CVT. When you move on to the strong hybrid ones, the engine makes 97 brake horsepower and 127 newton meters of torque. You still have a much more powerful hybrid version that comes with 107 brake horsepower and 253 newton meters of electric motor, and this is mated to an electronic CVT. So, guys, the leaks that we are looking at pretty much is confirming what we have heard, but we just have a couple of days, a week and a half from now to get to the finality of this and get to find out exactly what honda is putting across but these are some of the features that are confirmed and one of them is a single pane sunroof that we are looking at seeing that in the leaks the led headlights and not more than this but we still think that honda's eight touchscreen system with android auto and apple carplay is coming along we are getting camera based honda sensing advanced driver assistance suits and multi-zone climate control and power driver seats are likely to be featured on this one if you look at the space within which this vehicle falls in terms of competition it's going to lock horns with the compact suvs like the creta the maruti suzuki grand vitara the kia seltos the toyota airban cruise high rider the vw tiger the skoda kushak and finally the amg astor so there's still a good lots of competition around this vehicle that we are expecting so 
as the local media is, is has confirmed the official debut is actually on june 6th like i said a couple of days and weeks from now we will find this so thank you so much have a good great day until me same time again bye bye